Hey guys, Fry here, and welcome back to episode 7 now, I believe, of our Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play. And in today's episode, we are going to be finally starting the Dark Story, uh, because if you missed last episode, I highly recommend you check it out. We finished the Hero side. And now it's time for, in my opinion, the best story any Sonic Intruder game has. Alert. Because I Intruder love this uh, story. The Dark Story is my favourite. All, All units, units prepare to engage. engage. Emergency, Emergency battle, battle formations. Standard, Standard battle, battle procedures, procedures initiated. Locate, locate and stop the intruder, intruder from entering the security area. area. This, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. Repeat, this, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. <laughs> that was all too easy. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared it. He just yeets himself down there. But yeah, I love the Dark Story. It is my favourite story of any Sonic game I've ever played. I don't know why, it's just so fun. I also realised I was playing on a bad resolution, so I turned it up. And oh my god, does it look so much better. Wish I did this sooner. But hindsight's 2020. So with the Dark Story, unlike the heroes with the main character you do the most levels with is Sonic. Uh, in the Dark Story, it's primarily Eggman levels. Uh, you do play Rouge and you do play Shadow, uh, but there's only like, I want to say three or four Shadow levels. There really aren't that many Shadow levels. Also, I don't know if you guys can actually hear me very well because this level is very, very, very loud and yeah. I, I, I hope it's, it's, I'm hearable, and I hope I'm not too loud, because it's always tricky trying to get the right audio, because you, you don't want to be too loud and the game to be too quiet, but you don't want to be too quiet and the game to be too loud, so, it's, it's you got to find the balance for every game, but behind here, as you can see, is a little ability, can't get that yet, we need to be able to break the iron crates, but we will be coming back for it because it is a very, very useful ability. Uh, Tails, I believe, has the same version in his first level. However, his is right at the end. And I didn't want to go through all the level again just to get it. But we will, when we, as soon as we can break the crates, we will come back for it. Just because it will prove very, very useful. I'm not going to spoil what it is. Also, up here is the other second chow box, in case... In case you were wondering, just thought I'd let you know. But Eggman, like I said, he's much more fun to play than Tails, in my opinion. Just purely because I find him so much more easier to, to, to control than Tails. And I think it's because they probably put more time into his character model and his movement versus Tails. Because you don't want your main character used in that specific story to be janky or not really good with movement, so I think they made him better. Maybe I'm just being crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong and they play, you know, they're very similar. They are similar, obviously, but you know what I mean. But enough of me rambling on about bloody Tails and Eggman and which one plays better, because oh wow, we're actually already pretty much at the end of the level. Just like before, at the start of the hero story, the first uh, couple of episodes are going to be quite short, about 15 minutes long with three levels each. Uh, also back here is the final child box if you wanted to get it, but they're about going to be about three levels each per episode, again, as usual, 15 minutes long, and then towards the end of the uh, story mode, as, as with the hero side, it'll probably be less levels and a little longer. Oh wow, we got an A. Go us. Just gonna have a sip of my tea. Make sure to always have a drink, guys. Stay hydrated. Tea's not the best for staying hydrated because it's a diuretic, but still. Go 
God, this game looks so much good on these graphics that I got way. credit for. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do I is say that as a reference constantly, and no one ever gets it. One day someone will. One day. One day. so kind to release me, my master. I will grant you one wish. Now what? Shadow's a genie, guys. <laughs> the true power I possess. So, you don't get a shadow level in the, within the first three levels, but you do get a boss with shadow. And destroy. Just how Sonic's first boss after the first level is one of these guys. But this one plays a little differently. Oh, never mind. Ah. As I'm sure you guys probably are aware, the, oh, the bosses, so every time we fought Tails, uh, 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 Eggman is Tails, every boss fight we did then will happen in the dark story but we'll be playing as Eggman. Same when we fought uh, Rouge as Knuckles. We will do that again but as Rouge. Oh my gosh. What the hell's going on? And then whenever we fought Shadow as Sonic we will do the same but as Shadow. And then there are obviously some unique bosses that we will face but not too many I don't think. Oh actually I think the Dark side does have more uh, bosses than the hero side. I think it's only about one or two. I'm not sure why. I think it's because the bad guys are just bad guys, you know. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you. In the central control room, on the Space Colony Ark. Ark? Ark? So yeah, Shadow just is like, give me Chaos Emeralds, dude. Just let it go. You just don't know when to give up. <clears throat> Sorry if you hear me cough. I don't really mind talking over some of these cutscenes because we've seen them before. It is literally the exact same cutscene. It's just it ends with us playing Rouge instead of Knuckles. So the idea is Rouge and Knuckles are both trying to find emeralds at the same time. Also, completely random, I watched a a YouTube video, an information video on crows, and I found out some a crazy shit about crows, guys. Like, I don't know if you care about listening to me talk about crows, but crows are actually really smart. They are like one of the smartest animals on the planet. They are the only animal that isn't a primate that can point at something knowingly and have other members of its like flock recognize that it's pointing at something. That's nuts. It is the only other animal other than primates, so us and monkeys and apes. That's it. But crows can. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Sorry, I just sat here mind blown over crows for some reason. It's just, it's nuts for me. They also uh, theorized. There's a, a book, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, 
basically a, a researcher theorized that in you know uh, caveman times back before we could really uh, communicate and, and mainly when we were we we started off kind of like solitary and then we kind of realized that being together allows us to do more stuff is it up here where the hell is this emerald? Uh, yeah, we realise being able to do it allows us to do more stuff. And this guy basically said that it is a good chance that crows, I'm not sure if actual R time crows existed then, but crows could have been responsible for us evolving into, uh, like, co cooperating together because we needed to cooperate to stop the crows stealing our food which i think is really really fascinating and they could and us obviously observing them communicate and sort things out by being like a team you know doing teamwork we evolved to be able to so like crows caused us to be like yo we need to get our shit together guys like we've been outsmarted by birds for years. Birds, guys. Not, well, shouldn't say that because, you know, the crows are actually really smart. But that just goes to show how much we've evolved since those times. Because crows used to be smarter than us. Which is nuts. Ah, oh, another A. Beautiful. First Rouge level done. Sorry, I didn't really talk about the gameplay. But, to be honest, I was so entranced in crows. And Rouge plays just like Knuckles. You do the same thing, so I didn't think you guys really needed me to explain it. But unlike in the hero story, the third level is an Eggman level instead of the third character. You know, in the hero story, it was Sonic, Knuckles, Tails. This one, Eggman, Rouge, Eggman. And I believe after this one, it's another Eggman level. This level I didn't like when I was younger, mainly because a lot of it involves cycles. And you kind of have to be patient and try and get on the right cycle. Because yeah. there's like loads of things moving. See? Oh, I made that cycle though. And it is quite a long level. And there are a lot of points where it's so easy to die. And when I'm not playing a, a recording, when I die, I would, if I wasn't recording, restart the level. Because I'm one of those people that likes to get... You know, the best could grade in every level and collect as much of the hidden items and everything as you possibly can. It's why open world games with a lot of collection sort of things are a nightmare for me. Because I like playing them, but I have to explore everywhere and stuff, so stuff like that is kind of a pain for me. Oh my goodness, I just completely lost my point. Ugh. Mind... Why am I like this, guys? I was literally talking about... I had a point with why I was saying what I was saying. And the point just left me. It, it just completely left me because I was... I was too busy thinking about... Uh, oh my god, I forgot what I was talking about. What the hell? Uh, it's because I've had, like, no sleep, guys. I will be honest with you. I was up very, very late last night. And I woke up pretty early to my younger sibling blasting music and singing well she calls it singing uh, but yeah so anyway not sure if you can hear that but I'm being rung by someone with no caller ID so they are not getting answers right, shoot all this stuff so with Hang on a second. Okay, sorry guys, that call lasted about an hour. Um, it was my friend, uh, he was very drunk. And you know, you've got to be there when your drunk friend calls. He didn't ask me to pick him up or anything, he's, he's away working. But he's not currently working, because he's uh, finished. He's been drinking since 4pm. So, you know. Not that I judge that, you know. When you're away, working away, and uh, you finally get... 
some time off. It's nice to relax. But I have completely and utterly lost all train of thought of our balls. Completely lost all train of thought and knowledge of what I was talking about. And now we're not going to get an A, which makes me kind of sad, if, if I'm honest. But not really a lot I can do about that now. Uh, have we missed a checkpoint or something? I feel like we were closer than, than this checkpoint. Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> uh, anyway, what was I talking about, guys? I know at one point I was talking about crows and how smart crows are, which I am still amazed by, if I'm honest. But I can't remember what else I was saying, so... I guess we'll just move on to a new topic. And that topic is gonna be... Fingers got Ah, oh, balls. That topic is gonna be... Now that we've gone all the way back to the checkpoint again. He's flapping. My friend has messed with me. This is what he has done. He's caused this. This episode was going so well, we were gonna get an A on this. No. Now we're on all the wrong cycles. Now we gotta wait a bunch of minutes. Bloody bugger. Anyway. The weather has finally cooled down here. It is no longer 30 degrees. So I have been just able to relax and not be just a pile of sweaty, messy goo. <laughs> Probably too much for you guys to know, but there we go. And I should be going camping in the next two or three days. Maybe even in the next day. I'm not too sure. Can't remember. I'm sure my friends will remind me. I'm not great at remembering things, as I'm sure you guys are aware, considering I forgot what I was talking about. I forgot a point I was making, and then forgot what I had, like, gone on to, and forgotten about the point, and then for You get what I mean. So, yeah, they, they'll, they'll remind me, thankfully. They are, they are good like that. And hopefully it will stay not, well, hopefully it will be nice weather because we've had a lot of rain since our like heat wave essentially it felt like a drought we were running out of water down here and that never happens we never run out of water on our water reserve down here because as i'm sure you're aware it rains all the time here in britain <laughs> ow uh so hopefully it's not like raining and thunderstorms like it has been so I'm hoping it's going to be nice weather, but not too hot. Because the plan is, you know, get a fire going, cook some food, set up, well, set up the tent, then get a fire going, cook some food, all that shabang. But if it's raining, we're not going to be able to do that. So I don't know. But we have pretty much reached the end of the episode, guys. I am going to basically end the episode off here while the let the cutscene play. So I hope you enjoyed the dark side story sorry for the interruption rank e damn it but anyway don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll see you guys next time peace with the chaos emerald in the space colony arc hmm, i've got to find out just what's going on up there interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was stolen was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more details. More like the work of Shadow. <laughs> How pathetic. Find them before they escape!
Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people of this planet, I promise you. Revenge! <laughs>